bring in more than just rap. Coming up was an orphan, in fact. Distortion forces we lack. The smallest portion contortion has been in a natural act. Trapped in the matrix, besides the fact they keep calling me the one. Word, uh, brown skin Neo. Love, dreams, and destiny, my trinity. Feeling like Theo. Was friends with the roaches and rats. Two bedroom trailer. My fam out there digging for scraps. Today, Little Caesars is putting five meats on a pizza. Dreams do come true. Isn't this thing like nine bucks? I don't care if it's $45. I'm getting it. I'm eating it. Pick up your large, hot, and ready five meat feast for just nine dollars tonight. Pizza, pizza. This is the five meat feast. Pizza from Little Caesars. It's going to feel like Thanksgiving. Big my, old feast in front of us. My dad calls it Little Squeezers because he gets diarrhea after. I love dad jokes so much. So he also happy. calls Taco Bell Taco Smell and Burger King Burger Queen. And here we go. I'm overseas wildin' out I made my own happiness When there was nothing to smile about Everybody rhyming now Time it out, uh Timeless diamonds shining Inner peace and enigma Ignorance is bliss Humanity's left with a stigma That's one five meat feast For nine dollars at Little Caesars Here today on Number 6 to Cheese It's always, thank you guys always for showing up When Little Caesars comes a knocking Because these are our most viewed videos normally Really? Man, I love that Because Little Caesars deserves it. Acquired jump cut! Bring it close to the curb and straighten it out. Get nice and tight, that way you don't pout. Now don't get a ticket or hit the curb. <laughs> or your oh, bank I've account will you. take a swerve. I'll never leave you again. Oh my god. Oh, I miss you. It's seasoned, it's like uh... Carl Malone. No, no, no. <laughs> It's like cast iron, it's seasoned, it's got all the pizza greases from food past. Dude. All soaked down in there. That's true. Speaking of Carl Malone though, remember when like Jimmy Kimmel's like, he just did a really good impression of Carl Malone and like that was one of the reasons like people knew who he was? Carl Malone read on TV about white people getting deducted by alien, sticking all kind of hell up their butt. And that's a damn thing. From the man show of him? Yeah. Hi, I'm Carl Malone. He did the funniest Carl Malone. Oh my Malone. god, that's what a, I didn't, I've, I haven't thought of that in 10 years. I don't know why, why that came to yeah, me. Yeah dude, there's no way I've that's been uh, uh, across my brain stems. Right, right. Is it brain stems? It is. Up there? Yeah, medical. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the crickets are. No, not crickets, the cicadas. cicadas. <sighs> do we have to kiss now? <laughs> what do you think the chances are of a guy like you and a girl like me ending up together? On this show, when we do pizzas, there's two things you can always count on. One, a Corey Wagner box rip, and two, an in-depth breakdown by said Corey Wagner. All right. First up, First the up, Corey Wagner you box get, rip. You gotta get the sleeves back for that. And you open her up. Watch your body. Sorry. Careful now. I should know by You're now. in the zone. And then you get a rip. That nice. one was incredible. Uh, good quick Dude, one. and that was like a, a really up. raw, good rip. But most of the stuff I'm gonna post is gonna be raw stuff like this. Next up, like we said, the in-depth analysis by Corey. Take it away. Now this is incredible. I've never seen the meat to pizza ratio be so aggressive in my life. What we're dealing with is looks like pepperoni, big giant little slices of ham in there. I'm catching some sausage. I'm seeing some bacon. What do we got in there? Pep, ham, sausage, bacon. I'm missing one. Ground beef. Ground beef, bro. One, two, three, four, five. Meat toppings, including pepperoni, sausage, bacon, beef, and ham. I don't even want that ground beef, but I'm gonna take it. I know, it's a weird, I'm still, Corey and I are very much in the vehicle uh, that is driving by in life that why is there just seasoned ground beef on pizza? That's super weird. But you well, know what? It, Little Caesars makes great food, so. It does, I have, I have faith in LC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was going the whole time. Oops. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram at number six with cheese. That's funny. All right now. Now at this point in the video, we eat. People are sitting there going, about time, Jesus Christ. Man, I'm getting really freaked out by this building. This building just echoing all my screaming yeah, back does. here. It really is. And there's that. just this barking, there's barking <laughs> dog. <laughs> oh, that's on your half. I like to keep it separated from my OCD. There's no point of this that won't be insanely good. You know we already like you Little already Caesars, know. we've done it. I think we have probably a combined 250,000 views on just Little Caesars videos alone, and we've loved That's every bite of it. That's what's up. This is the five meat feast from Little Caesars. We've gotta be the first two people to review this. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Dude, I mean, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Probably five good. meats on a pizza, it's not gonna be good. Yeah. Game over. When I vote mm -hmm. for Chicago mayor this year, mm -hmm. I'm going to write this in. Is that right? I'm going to write it in. Five meat feast. That's why I want to run the city. I'd be down for it. And uh, a surprising number of Illinois votes went to five meat feast pizza. 
20% voted for Little Caesar, and another 30 for a small miniature man named Caesar. I want to watch Rahm Emanuel debate against a pizza pie. And I look forward to our future interview. <laughs> That would be amazing. I know, this is, I mean, it's really good. I know. The mass amount of meat does not take away, it only enhances. Surprise, surprise. Also, these are some salty meats, dude. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, is this vegan? So, here's the thing about veganism. Mm -hmm. Anything you put your tongue on okay. that an animal has even looked at okay. is not allowed to be eaten in veganism. So, that makes sense. I do have to say that because an animal has looked at this at some point, like mm -hmm. my dog's probably seen this video. I imagine. Lionel's looked at it. He's an animal. Okay. So, no. Okay. So, I've been wondering what that word means. I see it. Here's my question. Trending. Here's my question for you. Okay. Is this pizza a good vegetarian option? Vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Vegetarian, of course, meaning built by plants. Correct. Okay. I thought only corn. I thought that was the only vegetarian. Right. Right. So right. So we walked into that little Caesars, right? Uh huh. And the nice young lady that was taking care of us, she was not a plant. From my from, from what, what I, I could tell. Right. Now I don't know people. I don't like to judge people. But mm -hmm. she didn't look like a corn stalk. Mm -mm. She didn't look like broccoli. Mm -mm. Asparagus. Mm -mm. Radishes. Mm -mm. Beets. Mm -mm. Carrots. Mm -hmm. Celery. Now, are all of those vegetables or are some of those emojis? Now, not all vegetables are emojis, but are all emojis vegetables? Now, I have to question that only the gods can answer. That's true. Dear Caesar, isn't emoji in the vegetables? No, my son. People are like, all right, they finally accepted that LSD from that guy who was going around. <laughs> yeah. Overall, I don't think you can find a better $9 pizza. We walked in there and walked out Nine two and bucks, a half dude. minutes. You out of your mind? That's Nine dollars, two and a half minutes, five meats. One low price, unsponsored, unsponsored, unsponsored. Dude, look how massive this baby is. This is my last oh, piece, by the way. One. I'm not trying to. People have been asking how we're not 300 pounds. It's because oh, yeah. we're not eating we the have... whole pizza anymore. Mm -hmm. Question. Answer. Should we do your daily double? A Patreon shout out or a shirt shout out to our fine folks who like to buy shirts? That's a good question. You know what? I'm hmm. going to do something that hasn't been done ever. Okay. I want to do one Patreon shout out and one shirt shout out in the same video. I love that. I love that. Let's do that. And I really like that. Patreon, Patreon and shirt shout out. Patreon and shirt shout out. Patreon and shirt shout out. Didn't think we were going to do that so well, did you? Yeah, <laughs> people that donate to the series and then people who have bought merch off the website. First name. Our first Patreon shout out is a very special one. He's a big supporter and he also is one of our winners what? from our monthly giveaway, which we should be doing soon. We are. I have to print those out at home. He will. Art Brown. Arthur Brown? Who won himself a gift card to Moe's. Southwest Grill. You got a $25 worth of dinners on us. Thank you so much for supporting us, and we're ha more than happy to give 75 bucks out to you, yourself, and uh, two other uh, human beings who support us. I thought of another shirt idea today. Ooh, I love it. Sixers, tell me if you like this. Okay. For people that have sent us shirts, they're the only ones that are allowed to buy it, which, whatever, like, anybody could technically buy it. Mm -hmm. It just says, I've sent the goods. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Even if it's just a box cutter. Oh, smart. Shout out, shirt shout out to Miss Melissa Dawson, all the way from the United Kingdom. Got herself a jump cut shirt if you don't have one yet. And an eat a bit shirt. Oh, got both? Double two down? For, two Bro, for order. That's a true fan right there. Double yeah. down. Melissa, thank you so much. Thank you guys for supporting this channel. I'm satisfied. Are you satisfied? I'm very satisfied. I want to hear Jackie Child's eat and review a pizza. Because I, I said, that's, that's, uh, I'm satisfied. I feel yeah. like you'd be like, I'm it's satisfied. It's gorgeous. I'm blah, 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 it's and I'm blah, blah, blah. It's gorgeous. It's delicious. It's outrageous. <laughs> yeah. It's delicious. It's gorgeous. Outstanding. And for nine bucks, it's outrageous. You're gonna be a very rich man. Should we get some ice cream from this dude? Oh, if he was coming down this way, I'd wave him over and, oh, I don't have no cash on me. Never mm, mind. That would've been a really funny ending. That would've been. In Chicago, they don't even have ice cream men. They have people in carts just going through the neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I've seen I've seen like a couple ice cream guys, but it's a you see that about a billion times more often. A billion. Out of five. What was your favorite ice cream to get as a kid, like from that thing? I was a push pop guy. I liked like the orange, like the, is that like the cream sickle? What's a push pop? I don't know. What's a push pop? I don't know. What's a push pop? I've been to the bowels of the internet and I've never seen a push pop. God, just tell me, what's a push pop? It's a whole hand up an ass, David. Out of five Flintstone push pops, mm. how many Flintstones push pops do you give the five meat feast from Little Caesars? Dude, this same pizza at Papa John's or really any of the other establishments, I have to imagine, would cost close to double. I bet you it's close to $19. If it was a Papa John's pizza, it'd be 18 bucks. Yep. Mm -hmm. And be, for that alone, this is is a five for nine dollars for what I just tasted flavor wise. That, that, that's a five dollar, that's a five star pizza. And we're gonna go to the scorecard and the judges uh, deliberating for quite some time. This could only mean one of a couple things. And here we go, we're ready for him. Oh my god, he's done it, he's given it a five. The judges, he's given it a five. Oh god. 
you can't help but rate that that high because of the price, what you're given, the fact that it's given to you right away. That was you can get that hot and ready during like from four to eight or something. And even if we had to wait, they're like, oh, it's gonna be 10 minutes. And we just popped in there like, yeah. like we were just like, Dude, you know. So Little Caesars, you continue to amaze me. Every time. Right after this, we're gonna open up a package for a section of our show that we like to call, We've Got the Goal. Thanks for watching. Fading all distractions, blasting grooves on tubes, practicing my use to paint a vivid picture, always looking to improve. Cause when the night comes and the lights decrease, Alrighty, today we're ripping open something from our buddy Jeff Thompson. Thanks, Jeff. Come here. Oh! Okay. There we go. Oh, God damn it. All right. Popcorn Cory. Some BBs, some BBSs maybe. This is the salt lick spicy recipe like no other barbecue sauce. This is extra spicy, the jank gourmet barbecue sauce habanero. Got ourselves the jank. This is for Escobar's barbecue sauce spicy. Ooh, like Pablo Escobar. Ooh. Remember when Vinny Chase played Pablo? Vincent Chase. Medellin. Pablo Escobar, man, I Huge, haven't seen really or tanked. thought about that show in a really long tanked. time. No, no. But we still know who it's from, and we love you for sending it to us. Jeff, thank you so much for the barbecue sauces. Those will be in a Monday video. You're a sweet angel. Alongside and some other food. If I could kiss you, you on might. the top of the hand, uh, in a gentlemanly fashion, I would. I knew this guy was gay. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Little Caesars, you killed it. Sixers, you're killing it. You guys are killing it lately. Sixers, you guys are crushing. It. I like how at the end of the video that redhead always does this. Of fallen stars, less verbs is more nouns. What an action, movement, get what you give. That's the laws of attraction. Never the body is my abstraction. I keep a small faction. My passion is acting on instinct, evading all distractions. Blasting moves on. Two oh hands. God, two hands. Oh. Pushing the pot. Pushing the pot. Oh is that what God. you want me to say?